So Stephen Fector, I am so happy that you have taken time out of your day to allow me to ask you a few questions. And you know, the first thing that comes to my mind is, what inspired you to write The Last Dream? Well, that's a good question. Uh, last spring, I was asked by a theater company, and as well as other playwrights, actually there were 10 of us all together, uh, they wanted a 10 minute play uh, to celebrate their 10th anniversary. It was a fundraiser. And the theme was, it should be a 10 minute play inspired by A Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh. So well, that's how I came up with The Last Dream. Oh. And I thought the, and it was a reading, and I thought the uh, play went really well. And I thought, wow, that's, I was really pleased and happy with that. And then, during the summer, I found out about your event, about the theme being dream, and I thought, you know, I think my play, The Last Dream, could be a good fit for this event. And that's why I submitted it, and that's how it uh, was uh, created. And it is a great fit for West Play, the Dream Tree Playwrights Project. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, do you find it challenging mm -hmm. when you're writing, you know, or asked to write 10 or 15 minute short plays? Is it different than writing a full play or a one act? It, it is. And I think for me, the biggest challenge for writing a, a very short play is uh, to write uh, compelling characters because uh, strong characters is really important in terms of my work. So how do you write compelling characters in only uh, 10 or 15 pages? And to me the key is uh, uh, compression. You know, uh, writing uh, to say as much as you can in, in as few words as you can. And uh, as a writer I started as a poet, so the compression of language uh, was something that I thought about early on. But still, I would say the biggest challenge for me in writing a 10-minute or 15-minute play is writing uh, you know, compelling characters. Are you having any other productions in New York that I should know about? I mean, you're a very interesting you know, writer, an interesting person to speak to. I'm just curious, is there, do you have anything coming up? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Melissa. <laughs> do you? <laughs> uh, I do. Oh. Great. And, yeah, it's a full-length play. It's called The Mentee, and it's opening next week on the 17th of October and running to uh, the 28th of October. Where's it playing? It's playing at the Bridge Theater uh, at Schettler Studios on 244 West 54th Street. Ah, there you go. So thank you for asking. Yeah. You know, I, I just have to ask you, though. Do you, do you have an opinion or, you know, what do you think about the state of theater today? When you think about theater. Yeah, and I can see. <laughs> no, that's, no that's, a, that's a big question. And it's, well, it's always been <clears throat> challenging. And, uh, and I, I'm always hopeful, but then um, I just like to see more challenging work out there, more dangerous work out there. And I think still that we seem to be satisfied for work that is safe, whether it's Broadway or off-Broadway. And, you know, I, for me, the kind of theater that I love is theater that's, you know, dangerous theater, where the, the audience feels this is risky, and even the actors feel this is risky. And that's that to me is exciting. That's what theater is about, to, you know, um, to going places where other other mediums won't go, uh, to hear things that are unsayable, uh, and so um, I think the state of theater today is 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 seems to be doing okay, but I'd like it to. I wish it could do better. Well, you know, thank you for dropping by. Thank you for giving me your time. I love The Last Dream, and, you know, I'm so happy you're part of West Play, and I invite everybody to um, just stay tuned for more work from Stephen Fector. He's a playwright whose name you should know about. Thanks. Thank you.